Today I'm going to walk you through my build your own fragrance station. That way you won't be too confused if you ever stumble upon it at a market or at a location where my collection is being hosted. This collection is meant to be educational, interactive, and also help you connect in a deeper way with the art of perfumery. You can even create your scent combination based on your zodiac. I'm an Aries, therefore I'm a fire sign and my flower is a honeysuckle. We'll get back to that later. Alright, so let's jump in. Think of this like scent Lego. Firstly, every single bottle you see can be worn as a separate perfume. The 16 bottles to the right represent all different florals from the perfumer's palette. The 12 in the middle are the zodiac florals. The 5 bottles to the left are what I call the prime elements, or the base elements. Think of these like perfume bases, where each element represents a different fragrance family. For example, the element of earth is associated to a classic fougere, the element of fire with a classic and sensual vanilla amber, and the newest in line is called the quintessence, the fifth element. This is basically the Grosman Accord that I modified ever so slightly. Let's jump in and try a special scent combination with the special blotters I created. You have up to five trials on each blotter. I'm going to do my zodiac scent combination and this will help you understand everything. So I'm a fire sign which is associated to the classic amber which I mentioned earlier. And my floral is the honeysuckle which is also associated with the planet Mars. And I'm going to start by putting my floral on the far right side just as a reference. If you haven't smelled the honeysuckle before it's kind of soapy and sweet. On the far left I'm going to put my base element which is fire, a classic amber. I'm also going to put it in the middle where I'm going to do the mix. Now I'm going to grab the honeysuckle once again and just layer that right over. I'm only going to put a little. This is the kind of thing that perfumers do all the time. Of course we would do this on a fan of blotters. But I wanted to create an easier way for consumers to be able to enjoy the art of perfumery and also to connect with their sense of smell in a fun and engaging way. I call this process of stringing together different materials spell making. And I think you could see that you can go from a simple spell to something quite complex. It's all up to you. So tell me, what is your favorite fragrance spell?